Many scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Hey guys, it's Nick from Miss here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a Mortal Kombat 11 topic video about the new characters that they've been introducing into the game. And before I get to that, they have had some more reveals I haven't gotten to yet. So yesterday we got the reveal, I guess you could say, of Katana, even though we kind of knew she was in the game from the trailer last week. But anyway, we got to see what she was all about. We got Cetrion revealed a couple days ago, and we got the Collector revealed in the last combat casts. So two new characters got revealed recently, along with Katana, and we also got some gameplay breakdowns for Aaron Black, Noob Cybot, and Devora. Out of all of the new characters, I find Collector extremely interesting, and honestly, I'm just glad they didn't make him anything like the Shokans, because a lot of people thought, oh great, another multi-armed character in the Mortal Kombat world, he's just going to be like Goro. That's not true because A, he has six arms instead of four, and B, I just like what he's all about. He uses all his arms in combat for different things, like to collect things, he makes use of all six of his arms, whereas Goro just kind of uses his other two arms to grab them and beat the shite out of them. And as for my least favorite newcomer, I would probably have to say Cetrion. I just don't really see the appeal to her. She doesn't really fit in the Mortal Kombat world if you ask me. I mean, really, if we wanted to use the water elements or the earth elements, we could have brought back Rain or Tremor, these really cool ninjas that everyone loves. Not just slap it on this character and call it an Elder God. Because to me it's weird, like, Everything we've known about Elder Gods since the very start of the Mortal Kombat games, it just, it, it really contradicts it, her being this playable fighter with all these weird elemental powers. It just doesn't make any sense to me, especially since the only relatively playable Elder God we've ever got was Shinnok, and yes, he was a fallen Elder God, but look at him compared to Cetrion, and they are supposed to be siblings, and Kronika is supposed to be her mother? I don't know. Things are just getting really confusing. I think they've kind of screwed up the whole Elder God deal they had going on. But anyway, I'm just, I mean, yeah, that's just how I feel about it. I don't really like Cetrion, and I kind of just feel like she's only in the game because Poison Ivy and Injustice 2. Now don't get me wrong, I like new characters, and in Mortal Kombat X I was open to new characters. I really enjoyed a lot of the ones they brought to the table, like Kotal Kahn, Aaron Black, Kung Jin. They were some of my favorites, and they're really cool. I found they all fit in the Mortal Kombat universe perfectly. I have no problem with having fresh faces in the Mortal Kombat universe. Like I said before, I really like Collector, and I find Geras really, really interesting. I just think it was too soon for NetherRealm Studios to start introducing new characters since Mortal Kombat X was only a couple years ago and they introduced a lot of new Mortal Kombat characters and I mean really they didn't get the chance to even flesh them out. Mortal Kombat X's story was really short and a lot of the characters like Aaron Black and Ferator didn't even get screen time really in the story mode until someone needed to get beat up and then they were there. So I just want characters like that to get fleshed out better and have more of a personality before they start focusing on creating new characters. So that's how I feel about the Mortal Kombat 11 newcomers. Let me know in the comments below how you feel and who you are the most excited to play as. Now I'm going to end the video a little bit differently. This part is actually from a podcast I was in with Legend X Ronin the other day where we were talking about unpopular Mortal Kombat opinions and the newcomers discussion was one of my points. So I'm just going to show you the little clip here. I think I summed it up better in the live stream than I have in this video. So thanks again for watching. Enjoy. All right. So for my first unpopular opinion, um, and it's kind of weird because I, I, so just to start off with, I don't think that they should have made any new characters in Mortal Kombat 11. And I know a lot of people like uh, Jiris and a lot of people like the look of the other new characters and it's not even that i don't like them or that i think they're like poorly designed or anything like that it's just i think it was a little too soon considering they have all these characters they just created from mortal kombat x and they haven't really had time to develop on that like i feel like they've only had one game so and a, the comics but i mean eh, the game didn't give enough depth to like Kotal or Eren or Devora or any of them really like so to just all of a sudden be making new characters to try and give personality to like I understand Kronika like it's cool to see a new villain it is nice because 
it's kind of getting redundant just redoing the old ones like Shao Kahn, Shinnok, you know, everyone was expecting Onaga or something. So it was a nice change to see Kronika as a new villain. I'm not against that idea. I just think that they should have focused more on developing the Mortal Kombat X characters before making new ones. And I know they're bringing back a lot of the Mortal Kombat X characters, so I just hope their focus is on developing them as well. But I still think that like Takeda, Kung Jin, and Ferret Tor should have been worked on before they set their priorities on new characters. That's just how I feel about that. No, I, I honestly like 100% agree because I didn't want any new characters at all. And it's not that I hate new characters or anything. It's for like the exact reason you just said. Like You have all these other characters that you probably need to work on them and make better, which, I mean, they did good with Cassie and Jackie making them better. But, I mean, yeah. look at all these other characters who they just kind of like thrown away for the moment. And I just feel like, personally, that NetherRealm Studios is always trying to kind of like implement these new things without working on the old stuff like let's see how he likes a kamehameha